It is so good to be back on this couch where I will be giving you July's update. It was a great month. Uh, with that being said, let's get to it. I'm with my man, Officer Don Maggio over here. Let me get out of the light. Look at this guy. How you doing today, Don? I'm doing well. This guy literally is, we're at a church meeting right now. He was able to take off off of his, his mid shifts. <laughs> That's right. Tell him, Dom. What else? I'm the take me off the camera. Oh my God, he's so, so kind. He's a dedicated man. I love him. For those of you tuning in for the first time, my name is Sly Williams. I work with Young Life, where I'm an area director on the east end of Pittsburgh. Uh, two schools that I serve at is Taylor Orderdice and Barack Obama. I'm primarily at Taylor Orderdice at, uh, for the time being. Uh, that's kind of where I have the most momentum, where I coach track and field and cross country. Um, I've been here for about a year with my wife. She's smoking hot. You'll actually see her in the video to come. Her name is Amy, and we've been here for about a year, and it's been a great year, but on a monthly basis, uh, I give an update of just what's going on in my area, what's going on in my life. I'm everything from family to seeing students to hearing about meetings that I might have and a gamut of other things. Okay, so going forward, you will see what is up, and we will get into it. I'm with my, I'm with my man Jordan right now, his first time at camp, Young Life Camp. What are your expectations for this week? Have fun. Anything else? That's it. Simple and sweet. Look at this joker over here. He forgot his brush. It's going to be a tough week for him. <laughs> As you can see, we made it to camp, so left assignment where I was a late champion for a month. In a department, I was ODC boss, which is outdoor crew boss. So I had six teenagers with me. And so I did that for an entire month at Lake Champion, which is a camp at Young Life. And the following day, left there and came right back up with some students from uh, the Pittsburgh area, on the East End area, on my area. And it was so much fun. The, the kids had such a great time um, coming in to the camp. They, their expectations were very low. They were going to be very boring. And I, I guess I could actually show you better than I can tell you. So check this out. I'm in here for the 80s day. About to chill with my man Frazier. He Whoa, probably gonna say something the buck while I'm from the hood. hood. I got my man yeah. Jordan over here. I got my man Logan. Bobby, what up? Bo tell him Bobby. Tell him about Chris B. Chris B, he the best here, cute rapper in town. Come on. I got my man <laughs> Ethan over here all day, all day. You know what I'm saying? Got Bruce we Leroy, you know what I mean? The finest in here. Get ready for the 80s. Oh, here we go. We about to get it, huh? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Guys, just do it. Yep, there you go. They're gonna do it. I believe in y'all. Yeah, it's just sometimes in the next Oh, yeah! Yeah, there you go. That was the hardest. Was it bad? I'm going. It's not bad though, right? What? Now you wanna do it again? Now you wanna do it Although it was only one week, we covered a lot while being up there, being highly active to the idea of just being able to relax a little bit. And also, the boys that went, major shout out to Jordan, Ethan, and Brandon. Uh, forever love you guys, and it was so much fun just being able to hang out with you guys and get to know you while being up there. And just even their perspectives, you know, going out there, like I said, the bar was very low at further expectations. They didn't necessarily know what they were walking into, and them leaving, um, just kind of with their minds blown or their jaws being dropped and having such a great time. And, you know, some of the boys, they, they enjoyed the meals and the opportunity to just be around in a round table and just talk about their days. And then other boys actually enjoyed the free time, you know, back home, you know, with school. Teachers are kind of telling them what they do. They feel that at least, you know, being at home, you know, they have chores, they got homework to do. And just being able to relax and just hang out in a swimming pool or go frisbee golfing or just relax um, and hang out on a step. They really enjoyed that. Uh, that was, you know, that was a highlight of their trip to the conversations that we had during cabin time. And they were such rich conversations, you know, even for teenagers, you know, me being an adult and them being teenagers, uh, I felt like there was a lot of breakthrough, um, just the idea of being able to have a space created um, for them to process 
the talks that were going on to process, you know, if there is a creator, you know, am I, am I aware of his presence? Am I aware that he loves me? Uh, to the idea of engaging in, in that relationship with the creator and engaging in a relationship with God. With God. And so that was just really huge. Um, they all, we all left in wanting to pursue a stronger relationship with God. And to the point of after coming back from camp, we went to our first campaigners together. Yeah, I picked them up, we went out for dinner, and then we went to campaigners and just now on a daily basis, you know, uh, drawing closer and asking those questions um, that, you know, are tough or sometimes or what we might deem as cosmic questions. So being able to just sit down and talk about that in a space where there's no judgment and you can learn from one another. So that's been, the, the, that culture has been created. And so I hope to pursue that and to strengthen that um, along the way. I um, mean, and also to grow that, you know, not only with Ethan, with Jordan and with Brandon, but also with other students that come along and other students that I'm getting to know as well. So I'm looking forward to that. It's, it's been a phenomenal month as far as with camp, coming back from camp and just teaming up with them. What else do we have going on? Let me see. Hmm. Oh yeah, check this out. That was a picture of the Barry family. Uh, we are forever grateful. Amy and I are forever grateful for that family. Uh, that was the family that we served with down in Philadelphia. They then moved to Colorado and you know we just stayed in touch and they reached out to us and offered us jobs out there and we moved to Colorado. And if it wasn't for moving to Colorado, we probably wouldn't have found out about Young Life or at least been leading in the way that we were. And we had such an amazing experience that as we were talking, Amy and I were having more conversation about moving back east. Uh, it made me reach out and want to work with Young Life. And so I've, I'm forever grateful for them. And they came down um, just to come visit us. They were on a little road trip as they were, they were moving back. They were moving to Colorado Springs. They were in Frazier and then now moving to Colorado Springs. So they went on a little road trip and they stopped by just to see us. And we had such a great time. I got to hang out with Jack Jack. That's like my little bro. He actually be back down in September. We're gonna go to an NF concert together. But it was really fun just to see how they're doing and catch up with them. And they really are an extended part of our family. We really love them. And so it was great to just catch up and just see the endeavors that they're actually walking into and excited about like what they're gonna be doing in the near future. So that's the Berry family, really love them. Um, major respect and love for all of them and excited to just continue to grow and learn more from them as well in the near future. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood of Pittsburgh, chilling with the smoking hot wife, Amy Williams Bow. Say hi, say hi, say hi, say hi. Say hi. You gotta say hi. Date night with the wife. Whatever she wants, she gets. She want butter on that popcorn? Bow, butter on the popcorn. There's my baby. It wouldn't be right if she didn't make this vlog. Amy, thank you so much for the ways that you love me. Um, I'm so amazed at the skills and the talents you continue to live into on a daily basis. Uh, but it was so much fun just to go to the movies and hang out and step away from the house, especially after a long month of assignment and then the following day going right back to Champion for camp um, and before actually going into our next experience a week and a half after camp. Um, you have to come back for that update, um, for August update, to, to find out what happened. Um, but I'm so thankful for Amy. But this is a great segue into what you can be praying for. Most certainly our area, the leaders, the committee leaders, as they're in their re respectful areas right now and back home enjoying this summer break, which they totally enjoyed. I mean, they deserved. Um, I hope that they come back with ex excitement. Um, same thing for the committee um, that has been here as I've been traveling all over. They're here holding it down, um, praying and loving on me. Um, as we add to that, as we prepare for our first banquet, October 10th is in the books. If you've seen this uh, vlog and you want more information about that, or you're like, yo, Sly, I would love to come to that. I would love to attend. Hit me up. You know my information is going to be below. But be praying for that. We're really, really excited for the, that banquet. But also, it's going to be our first banquet and you know the opportunity to raise perhaps the most money we'll raise for a year for our area so uh we're, we're hoping that uh, a presence of um, parents of teachers of people from the city from outside the city are all gathered there 
and that we just have an amazing time. For my well-being, as we get ready for the new school year, um, or for the school year to begin, that, I mean, I, I feel excited, but really that I'm living into that, that I'm showing up on a daily basis, that I'm playing the long game, that I'm not getting being being distracted or worrying about um, an encounter that I might have had or the way I planned it to go and it didn't go that way, but that has continued to show up that I remain consistent with my leaders as well. That training for college students goes well also as I'm team up with other staff and that we continue to be more uh, mindful and aware of inclusivity, that we are including everyone that's around us and that they feel that love, that they feel valued and respected. Um, yeah, just for... Um, for Amy as well, for myself, that uh, us as, as one, that we're continuing to be on the same page, that we wouldn't allow the enemy to distract us or to pull us away or to allow us to think that we're on different pages, but that we are um, attuned with one another, and that's because we are sounded and rooted in, in the Lord. And so, love her. Love you guys. If you haven't heard it from anyone else, hear it from me. You are loved. You are valued. I'm going to get out of here. Please come back for August update. I'm, I promise you, you will love it. You will not be upset that you tuned into it. It's going to be really exciting. It's going to be buck wild. I got to get out of here. I got a ton of work to do. I know you got work to do. Let's get to it. Peace.